Hi, welcome to Digital Forensic Essentials. We're in module zero where we're gonna give you a welcome to the Digital Forensics Essentials class. And my name is Kevin King and I've been working in the IT field for many decades. And I'm very happy to take some of that experience that I've had uh, and everything from infrastructure networking to ethical hacking to forensics and share it with you. And you might have expectations from this and I have expectations for you. And that is that you will learn uh, some of the essentials of digital forensics. And I also hope to inspire you to jump deeper down the rabbit hole of forensics uh, when you get the opportunity. Uh, what is this DFE program, Digital Forensics Essentials? It covers the fundamental concepts of computer forensics in a variety of areas, variety of fields. Uh, what we're gonna do is equip you as a student of this class with the skills that you need to identify an intruder's footprints. What are they doing? How do they get here? What type of intrusion is this? And to properly gather the necessary evidence to prosecute. That's what forensics is really all about in a court of law. So that's what the DFE program is. What will you learn in the digital forensics course? Number one, we'll look at fundamentals in the next module, and then we're gonna move there into the process. And it's very important to follow the investigation process. And what you'll see is we'll take that process, we'll take the understanding of hard disks and file systems Windows and Linux, uh, et cetera, and the understanding of data acquisition and duplicating and anti-forensics techniques that the attackers are going to use against you. Take that understanding with that process and we'll apply it to Windows forensics, Linux and Mac forensics, network-based forensics, uh, investigating web attacks, dark web forensics, email crimes, and malware forensics. So with the framework of the process and the methods of acquiring information, we'll find that there are a lot of places we can go and investigate in terms of digital forensics. So what will you learn? You're gonna learn some of the key issues that make it important to have people in this field the different types of digital forensics. And we're gonna look at the process and its phases and the types of disk drives and file systems and methods of data acquisition. And again, like we saw in the previous list, anti-forensic techniques and countermeasures. And we're also going to look at the differences between volatile and non-volatile information gathering for many different operating systems uh, like Linux, Mac, and Windows. And we're going to look at how do you correlate events and network traffic, investigation in webs and uh, web server, web logs, and uh, web applications, dark web, email, malware forensics, all of that. But no, you're not just going to have a lecture. You're also going to have the ability to take some of these items that we're talking about and follow me as we go through a lab where we have some of the latest Microsoft servers and workstations and also uh, Ubuntu set up in a method that will help us in a way that'll help us make use of the forensic methods that we'll be talking about in the class. So you have to practice it. Try it out for yourself in iLabs in our lab environment. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and I want to welcome you to the DFE Digital Forensics Essentials class.